Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Thank you for joining us today again um, for some interesting, fun things that we found on the interwebs. Uh, today we're going to be talking about creepy pastas. How do you feel about that? I feel like I want to stay away from my mom's big spaghetti jar. <laughs> spaghetti jar, huh? <laughs> spaghetti jar? Are you racist? Spaghetti jar. Oh, okay. <laughs> I would call you John in this video. John. I'm John. So we'll start out with number one. I've never seen creepy pasta. Here. We should make creepy pasta. Okay. That sounds delicious more than anything. But I know you're afraid. Sounds like, it sounds like a Halloween treat. I know you're afraid of, of a lot of things. Especially the video game Outlast. Come on. You should watch them. It's going to be hilarious. We're going to be making some videos there. Whether he likes it or not. Uh. <laughs> it's for you. You, the viewers. Yes, my life is in your hands. <laughs> Which reminds me, um, if we're not doing something that you want to see, send it in the comments, or say it in the comments, or send it actually to our email that is linked with this, and uh, let us know. And I'll get this guy to do it. Oh, I see how it is. Yeah. But first, you know you want to see that? Yeah. Uh, Slender Man. We all know this guy. He's... Tall, thin, and he wears a uh, Gucci suit, I believe. <laughs> Sorry. Reek, reek. Yes, I know. Yeah. Okay, so the story about this. It's a small little thing that they have on here. Uh, before this pale-faced ghoul. Faceless. Uh, faceless. Whatever. I'm paraphrasing. You know. You can't paraphrase. You're not a paratrooper. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be what I want to be. Uh... Has his own series of video games. He haunted the forums of the internet with his finely pressed suit and unnaturally long limbs. Like a squid, I would think. The Slender Man story is not a narrative one, but a pseudo historical look at this monster's history with humanity. This is tied into several other creepypastas. Uh, typically, the Slender Man preys on children and those who become obsessed with his existence, though no one knows exactly what happens to the bodies since no one has ever escaped from an encounter with him. So really, how do we even know he exists? That's true. I mean, I'll, I'll give you that. We, no we have no there. actual like proof of this. It's, I think creepypastas. Um, not sure if they're made up or just like based off of some kind of folk tale. Well, from what I was reading, they were they said that uh, they said that they're just they're fake. They're just something. It's like a campfire story. Oh well, they're good. They're convincing. Very mm -hmm. convincing. Um, next, what do we have here? We have number two. Numero undos, dos, one of them, you know. Although Robert the Doll, I think, is supposed to be real. Yeah, well, we're going to talk about in, that He's next. actually in a museum. Well, we're going to talk about Yeah, we're going to talk about that next. But, uh, yeah, yes. Number two is Cannibal Cove. Or Candle Cove, yeah. Bleh. Candle Cove. Everyone has a television show from their childhood that they remember fondly, like Power Rangers. Yes. I'm just saying. Uh, nostalgically recall the adventures of Dora the Explorer. <laughs> That's just horrible. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Rogers and Sesame Street. <laughs> You're a dick. <laughs> <laughs> so, some adults rediscover their favorite shows from the 1970s. Candle Cove on a television forum is a creepypasta slowly... Slowly, yeah, slowly their memories of the show grow darker and more disturbing. Until one of the adults asks his mother about the true nature of the show. Which is, why is that doll creepily up on that kid's face? Like, have you seen him humping Johnny's face? It's just crazy. I have not even seen this. <laughs> I have not seen <laughs> Candle Cove, I'm sorry. The f I'd never watch it either. Oh, Johnny, why? <laughs> oh, it's about, like, your, your childhood, uh, you know shows that you used to watch. Uh, the format of oh. the story adds a spooky realism to the tale, also making it easy to recreate and share on other boards. Uh, if you find the story, blah, blah, blah. And so, anyway, basically it's just taking what you remember and just making your own story, making it freaking creepy. Like, oh. like uh, the whole Spongebob 
And when he the, rips, when they rip his face off and has a skeleton under him. Well, no, 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 not so much that. They're like or, remember or the one with uh, with undertones. Remember the one where they said the creepy creepy pasta with SpongeBob was whenever. Uh, Oh, Squidward's Squidward suicide. suicide. Yeah, yeah that, that's what they're, that's what they're saying. Totally... The, the missing video, as they call it. Like, yeah, I wonder. Like, that's not, that's kind of scary. That's creepy. That would be creepy, and if it's true, please send us the link. That would be awesome. We, we, we would like to see this and see if it's a really true one, but I don't think it is. I don't think so either. So, number three, we have Robert the Doll. Although it was made originally for Adult Swim, so... Robert the Doll? No, no, no. Uh, Spongebob. Oh, where was it? Yeah, it was supposed to be about a gay starfish and sponge. Or oh, wait, I wait, don't believe you. A homosexual starfish and sponge. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm not kidding. How did that not make it to... Uh, I forget there's some weird cuts or something. I don't know. Well, I know it was made for adults. And then kids just, like, flocked to it, you know? <laughs> and just changed it into what it is today. Uh, but anyway, Robert, was it Robert the Doll? Yeah, Robert the Doll. Not for the faint of heart, Robert the Doll really exists. The myths surrounding him very... <laughs> the, the thumbs up. <laughs> the, the myths surrounding him We should take vary. a trip to go see him at some point. wonder where he's at. That would be cool, actually. I know where he's at. Um, especially since it became so popular on the internet. The doll has given... Uh, was given to artist Robert Eugene Otto in the late 1800s, early 1900s, by a servant working in his family home. The doll, in which he named after himself, then took on a life of its own and began to terrorize the family. Otto is... is said to have kept his doll into adulthood and subsequently torn tormented his late wife to insanity with it. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, when the doll was found by another family, the girl to whom it was given was terrified of it and refused to have it in her room. So, the doll itself is currently residing in the Fort East Martello Museum in the Key, West Keys, Florida. In Key West, Florida. Yeah, well, you know. I think that's Florida. I've never seen someone abbreviate Key something West. with three letters, like a state. I'm guessing it's Florida. Fla. <laughs> Key West Fla. Fla. <laughs> Visitors must ask Robert Polite, eh, politely. Robert politely if he, if they want to take a photo uh, with him. Uh, if they mock him or take his photo without his permission, Robert is said to lay a curse on them. And you bet that I will be. Are you cursed? <laughs> I was gonna say, are you gonna ask? Or I will not ask. ask. I am very rude. <laughs> Here we're like, hey Robert, I want to take a picture. Photobomb. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Oh Robert, you photobomb me. Oh my god. <laughs> oh Robert, why? Robert. <laughs> and we'd be driving home and like the goats would be falling out of the uh, sky. No, you'll be driving home on your own. I'm just saying. Well, if you're there, it'll, like, counterbalance. Because you could ask permission. Okay, that, that could help. That, they, they, he might be like, you know what? Okay. Well, then we'll probably only do, like, half the car. The one I'm on, well, it'll get, like, cut in half. Something will happen to you. I'll be fine. <laughs> you know? I'm willing to, Something weird. I'm willing to take the risk for my viewers. Either way, I'll be fine. That's all that matters, right? So, if we get more views, how about we make a little pledge to go and do stuff like that? Yeah, we could totally do that. Uh, anybody wants to uh, that subscribes, or if you don't subscribe, you can uh, donate, and we can do some more stuff quicker and faster. Uh, what's the next one here? Is Ana C? Ana Sai. Ana Sai's goat. Ana Sai's goat man story. For some reason, I was no. I'm not even gonna go there. Oh. Uh, based on Native American <laughs> legend, <laughs> this creep, this creepy, creepy pasta was originally found on 4chan's paranormal board, where some of the best creepy pastas can be found. The story follows a teenager, which I don't know if that's true, but you know, can be found. Uh, this story follows a teenager who goes down to Alabama, yeehaw, to be with his extended family, while he. His cousins and their friends are camping out in the woods. 
they see a strange figure, 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 goat man. Oh god, I, oh, I'm glad I read that further. <laughs> Jerking and spouting <laughs> gibberish. Oh god. As it follows them. <laughs> They spent the rest of the night in fear of the goat man slowly infiltrates the group, terrorizing the teens into a frenzied state, state of paranoia. paranoia. The mix of pre existing lore and a new narrative is not rare to creep across. I wanna do the next one. Why do you want to do the next one? Because of the oh. slash and sleep experiment. Oh, I see. Alright. Like it. It's very All right. short. Fine, I get to do Jeff the Killer. Oh, Darn. Oh, snap. Well, number five, he then. He likes Jeff the Killer. I do. I'm related to him. Anyway, number five. The Russian Can you sleep see experiment. it in his face? I mean, look at those eyes. And that... <laughs> Actually, looks very and that creepy. smile. <laughs> it looks very scary. I was like... <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Uh, the Russian sleep experiment. A staple of best creepypasta lists everywhere. The title of the story itself carries... With, its, uh, with it, a sense of dread and horror. Shortly after World War II, five political prisoners are subjected to an experiment in which they have to remain awake for 30 days. A tank, <coughs> ooh, a tank filled with the experimental gas. Feels like keep them a, awake. Feels like a lot of Mountain Dew. Oh, basically, like any any particular gamer's night. <laughs> Just <laughs> you're like, right. Mountain Dew and pizza. <sighs> Mountain Dew pepperoni pizza. What's going on with you? My eyes are just black. Lots of acne. <laughs> <laughs> As with PC most... master race. <laughs> As with most science gone wrong stories, the test subjects begin to lose their minds among the number of the gruesome symptoms. The horror does not end with the experiments trying to save their subjects. Far from it. Just okay. uh, just know that this story may not be appropriate if you're squeamish or dislike gore as narrative goes into the graphic details about physical state of, about the physical state of the patients. Thankfully, there are no pictures. This would be the ultimate nightmare fuel. So basically, what happens... Well, we've seen a video about this, right? <sighs> yeah. Where they was just paraphrasing. Yeah, so basically... <laughs> What happens is the doing it. like four of the five subjects, they uh they like rip their I think four of the five subjects anyway like rip their own flesh off, and like are all pretty much dead on the floor. And the only person that's alive says some really creepy so they, statement about lurking in. They rip people. their own face off. They rip their own arm or their own flesh off, their own skin and oh, stuff. Okay. But um, sounds like a rave. Oh my god, yeah. Somebody's <laughs> been hopped up on the cocaine and down in Florida somewhere, I'm guaranteeing you. Oh, damn that bath salt. <laughs> bath salt turns you into zombies, didn't you know that? Zombies! Red bath salt. Red bath salt. It has to be red. Oh, the, oh okay, because the white one, that wouldn't be racist at all. <laughs> Blue turns you into a Mormon. <laughs> a Mormon? <laughs> Blue turns you into a Mormon. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> eh, it's not like they'll watch this. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just kidding. We'll read that out, obviously. No, no, no. no it's staying. It's, it's staying. Well, uh, and the last person... A lot of these are just one-take wonders. We're not really And supposedly about the last person that's left says something about, uh, we're the ones that lurk in your deepest thoughts. We're the ones that you go into your, into your unconscious to avoid. Mm -hmm. And they're just, uh... I think basically they might be referencing, like, demons or something. Or how our inner animal is a mind of its own. I can see that. I can see that. So that's pretty scary in itself. Like that is pretty creepy, especially if you, if they would make that into like say, like a movie or something like that, and just really play it on. Well, they've made the movies. Meaning, they've made the movies of, like that. Well, no, I mean at, at, of the the Russian. Well, I guess they did. You know, I don't know if they actually made a movie of it. All but right, well, next there you go. is Shifting. the short one, Jeff the Killer. You can do the next one if you want. Oh no, that's fine. I just want to do that one. Uh, so here, Jeff the Killer is, and was, and always will be, uh, a killer named Jeff. <laughs> sounds, sounds like a music song. A killer named Jeff. <laughs> if you've ever, if, yeah, if you ever, if you never laid Jeff. eyes on the infamous image of Jeff the Killer before, consider yourself lucky. The basic story concerns Jeff the Serial Killer, who hides in the closets and whispers to his victims. Uh, go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. No, no, you gotta go to sleep. No, no. Nothing's gonna happen. 
<laughs> I'm like, sir, why do you have a knife? <laughs> I am carving a turkey. <laughs> he goes, he goes in like still frame, like, if I just stand there for a little bit, they won't notice. T-Rex. <laughs> T-Rex, yeah. <laughs> I'm in your blind spot. That theory's been disproven. <laughs> well, yeah, that's true. Well, what do we really know about, like, uh, nothing. dinosaurs, really? We don't know dick about them, really. We can't, it's not like we can examine their freaking eyes, because their eyes aren't there anymore. And right. The tissue's gone, and all that's here is a skull. How can you tell from just looking at the skull? I mean, you could tell if they had, like, well, blind spots. You a lot of things, yeah. Yeah, if they had, like, blind spots and stuff, but not, like, if their vision was based on movement. That's true. I, I can tell, like, what? I don't know, I thought I saw something move. Where? Where? It's a joke. Where's, it, where's the joke? God damn it. Oh, okay. ruined everything. I'm sorry. But anyway. Okay. I forget where it is. <laughs> go to sleep. That's right. Go to sleep. Before slaughtering everyone in the household. Even more disturbing is that this, that... What's <laughs> more disturbing than his MO. His MO is his appearance. His face is smooth and stark white. Not Tony Stark. A huge grin and a small, <laughs> and small lidless eyes. He is one of the most easily recognized creepy pastas, with his eerie stare posted across forums. Uh, let's see here. His origins for a story involves a fight that resulted in a chemical burn on his face. Sounds like the beginning of a superhero story. <laughs> it really does. Sounds a lot like Daredevil. And. <laughs> <laughs> it caused him to go insane soon after. His uh, murder, he murdered his family and disappeared into the night to make guest appearances in your nightmares. Yo, nightmares! Next, we're going to talk about Ben Drowned. Uh, looks like a video game that has to do with Link. Zelda. From uh, Zelda. Well, yeah, Zelda. From Zelda. It, I'm saying Link as in, you know. The yeah, Zelda the character. Game. But anyway. Uh, that does look pretty creepy if he was actually in there. But anyway, hacked video games are often found in creepypastas. And what are you doing over there with your legs? Stretching. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I'm too tall for this. <laughs> my butt. My butt. Oh, absolutely. We will not show the audience what we were sitting on. <laughs> <laughs> A bunch of heads. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> ha! No. But n never. It is. But none is more infamous about than uh, Ben Drown, the story of Matt, a college-age boy who picks up a hacked cartridge of Legends of Zelda. Majora's Mask. Majora's Mask. At a garage sale. As the oh, okay. You can read this. I don't want it. You go ahead. You do it. It's okay. No, you can do it. No. Okay. All right. All right. Go ahead. I <laughs> can't go. As the boy plays it, he captures the strange occurrences in the game uh, in real life until it ultimately culminates into a full haunting. <laughs> the narrator and Ben's fates are left up to the reader's imagination. But the tales imply that a happy ending is not in possible. The possible. Uh, so, what do you think? Didn't really get much information on that one. Uh, well, you know, they're... I guess the video game was haunted. This is what they have. Basically, what it comes down to is the cartridge itself, I guess, was haunted. And when we played it, that's whenever it caused uh, the hauntings to ensue. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like crazy little links flying all around Freaky. you. <laughs> Could like you smiling imagine? and giggling. And this fairy saying, hey. Hey! 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 <laughs> <laughs> hey guys! Uh, hey guys, I'm over here! Oh, really? oh god. Uh, let's see here. Persuaded. Huh? Zambis. We got some Zambis for you! Defining. Definitely. Definitely. Jesus. <laughs> False <laughs> start, guys. <laughs> have a place in creepypastas. Zambis, especially, after have taken over the majority of pop culture today. However, in the spirit of keeping readers in on their toes, these Zambas do not, do not need frenzies, bitings, 
<laughs> frenzied biting to increase their numbers, which elevates this tale above and beyond Zambia's inspired creepypastas. After a massive oil spill, all those touched by the substance began a vicious began to viciously attack other creatures using mass panic across the country. The nameless protagonist holds himself up. Why does it say holes? I thought it would say hold. Holds. Well, maybe they, maybe it's a typo. I think it's Holds himself up. In misprint! Or holds himself up. It's like you dig yourself a hole and you hide in a hole. It's like holes. In your apartment? Well, it's basically a term. It's, oh, like, okay. it's like a, it's, it's a, Figure of speech. I just wanted to let you know. I, I believe you. I trust you. Trust me, too. <laughs> <Ugh. laughs> Waiting for the screaming, violent horde to come crashing through the door and tear him limb from bloody limb. If only that had actually happened instead of the two day long nightmare that really unfolds. So. It doesn't really go too much into it. Well, could you imagine if, like, my God, I don't understand why is it, why the, I guess Resident Evil does a little bit, but why they don't touch more with animals getting infected by it as well? I mean, could you imagine running from a zombie zebra? <laughs> <laughs> There's no way. Which is, it's a that's a good uh, good argument, just because you know zombies they don't really have. A preference a on preference. meat. Yeah, and if if humans can be taken uh, over over by this viral or bacterial disease, and um, dogs apparently, and yeah, and dogs, Evil, as a Resident Evil, then why wouldn't cattle, horses, you know, cattle, cats, uh, uh, deer, and whatnot. deer, like zombie deer. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Zomb zombie squirrels. won't go down! Zomb it won't go down! Zombie squirrels. Zombie. Oh my god, that would, that would be the creepiest right there. Because they you are. You wouldn't know, they're so little. They are they little. just jump on your face and begin to, you know. From the trees, man. Attack from the trees with their infected nuts. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Oh, get them out of my face. Acorns. Next, we have Smile Dog. If there's any story. On this list, they say, that best captures the message, be careful what you wish for. Smile Dog is it. The creepypasta deals with an image posted. <laughs> Are you alright? <laughs> it hurts so much. Uh, with an old bulletin board system back in 1992 called Smile JPG. Those who saw the image either disappeared or died, saving, or save, <laughs> save for one Mary E, who the narrative narrator gave goes to interview. What he eventually learns is that some things, even simple pictures, are better left a mystery than dealing with the horrifying truth. So, in case you were wondering, the story comes from comes with an yeah from. Come, does come with an accompanying image, but you may not want to read it, after, or may not so. want to see it after seeing this full story. Exactly. Anora Petrova sounds Anora. like a Harry Potter spell. Anora, you you, you do this Anora one. Anora Petrova, you do this one. I want to do the the Norton's house. Oh, okay. This tale reminds us that it is best not to Google yourself, no matter how tempting it is. Honora Petrova was one of the most promising figures. I like skating. to Google myself. <laughs> Have you seen pictures of me? I can't find myself anyway. I can. You can find yourself. Well, you made that porn. No, I didn't. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> you guys and that getting me in trouble. Anyway. <clears throat> Probably. Honora <laughs> Petrova was one of the most promising figure skaters in the United States until she discovered a sentient Wikipedia page about her. After trying to selfishly alter her fate by editing the page, her life spirals out of control in the most unexpected ways, until she, she, until she is friendly, a friendless orphan, which isn't even the worst part. While the Wikipedia page does not actually exist, it is a harrowing tale about messing with the unknown forces of the interwebs. 
if you do check the if you do check the story out, make sure you click on the image at the bottom of the email for an extra layer of spooky. So what you're saying is is this is uh, Bloody Mary, just internet and yourself no. and yourself. No. Why not? Because I would think that Bloody Mary is more like you have to say her name and well, then yeah, she comes out and murders you. You know, there's me. Ah, oh, yeah, this is kind of like Bloody Mary. I'm looking into the picture. But and it's Bloody a Mary esque. Okay. See, I'm glad we can uh, agree on something here. Here you go. The no end. Quit fingering my screen. I'm sorry. <laughs> Are you shaking the table? Are you shaking the table? Next, we have the haunted house. No end house. Uh, this house. Definitely want to visit these places, by the way. So exactly. Subscriptions will definitely help that for you guys. Somebody too. didn't sleep very well. Shh. What are you yawning? I saved lives today. I saved lives. How did you do that? I gave my plasma to the to the plasma places. Oh, I see. They gave me money, but I mean, hey, <laughs> that's all that matters. That's, that's, that matters, and you save people. I save people for saving or for getting money. No end's house. Okay, haunted houses are the center of famous scary narratives, and survival surviving the night in one earned teenagers instant respect. Still, is the potential trauma and death worth the admiration of people who you you'll likely never see again after graduation? We'll find out. Uh, no end house promises five hundred dollars to whomever can survive. A trip through its nine room, uh, nine rooms of torture. A challenge. I didn't realize this was even a challenge, dude. I'll do it for five hundred bucks. Shit. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. A trip through the uh, nine rooms of torture. A challenge that our narrator Dave readily accepts. The rooms begin to grow increasingly sinister and evil, pushing the limits of David's psyche and humanity. Are nine rooms really worth such a small monetary compensation that won't even pay for therapy sessions? I say yes. Yes. Hell yes. Where, we, one, where is this at, anyway? One, you're going to get creeped out like crazy. Uh, well, maybe. You maybe maybe always, not. Yeah, you should probably always bear in mind that um, you're gonna live. <laughs> at least. Unless you have, like, a heart problem. Or maybe you're just not psych psychically ready for something like that. It just breaks you mentally yeah. and you go into vegetable form. But, <laughs> uh, that would suck. It would. That would suck. Uh, I would go and do it just because of the $500. Why not? And, of course, it's only nine rooms. I'm guessing it's for just the night is what it's saying. Yeah. Well, it has Surviving to a night in one... Yeah. In one, in one night. So, would you do it? Yeah. So you would? I would. What would you take with you? Myself. Maybe some water so I don't get dehydrated. That's true. Always need water. That's... Being afraid dehydrates you tremendously. Does it? That is not... Make, it's not... It's make, not medic. Does it make you pee? It's not medically proven, but you I have mean, a swollen prostate. No, I'm not putting my finger in your butt. Oh god. <laughs> anyway, psychosis for number twelve. Uh, let's see here. Can you really trust what you see and feel? Is your life all a computer simulation? <laughs> Do we live in the matrix? It was what? Do we unplug <laughs> from reality? Do we yeah, need not this really. battery. To run a remote control? Yes, yes, we do. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Go on. Are we all just people in someone else's dreams that is bound to end? That's an actual scientific theory. Uh, that, yeah, I can see that. I mean, it, it's not even true. It's a theory. I mean, it's a theory. theory. I mean, it's it's definitely interesting if you think about it. Are we all uh, somebody else's dream? Is this the real life, or is it just a fantasy? Extens... what? Extens... Ex Extentialism. Extentialism. Or, or existentialism. Extent... Existence. Existentialism. <laughs> Existentialism. That is just made up. It's, no, it's God. existence okay. and chillialism. <laughs> chillialism? <laughs> okay. May, may not be the scariest of philosophies, but psychosis shows 
that pro proving human existence beyond innate fears and paranoia is an inner battle that can never be won. Yeah, because you can't prove that we exist because that's only something that you're fabricating out of your own thoughts that could be created by somebody else. Or, you know, our, like, what is the whole theory about, uh, like, this has already happened type deal, and it's just the memories replaying itself. I don't know, I guess dream theory. <laughs> I guess that, well, dream theory or... or I don't know, I made that up. Know. Not sure if it's real. <laughs> uh, you, you had me a hello. Just saying. Well, anyway, next we go to doors. I'm not quite sure how doors are scary, but let's find out. Are you serious? You could open a door and end up anywhere. Like, <laughs> ah, no, no, I seen my parents, no. <laughs> God. And that is not a door I want to open. This creepy pasta is popular. For its Shyamalan Shyamalan esque nature. nature, the tale follows a family with a young male narrator a young who, male talks, who talks like this. Exactly. Like this. Like this little fella. Come here, little boy. No, that's just creepy. <laughs> it's a creepy pasta. Who, who talks about their daily lives together one night the in the household is or no one night the household is attacked by a mysterious figure that our that our inter intrepid intrepid what's intrepid that protagonist intrepid protagonist okay i guess he's like scared okay make it simple or angry or whatever to giving. chase out giving any more of the plot would already ruin the surprise <laughs> But this story proves that brevely, brevely, brevetedly, breveted, e, can be an effective tool when using when using it properly, horrifying and amazing. So, that is all thirteen. Probably took longer than I thought it was going to. Definitely took longer than ten minutes. Probably took thirteen minutes. But that's okay. We're and all right with that. It probably actually took um, thirty minutes. We definitely would like to say thank you for watching. And enjoying so please remember to rate if you want to and subscribe if you want to don't be afraid to like us thumbs up everybody thumbs up thumbs up way way down way, way no i'm sorry i'm sorry and as always there i am <laughs> thanks for watching good afternoon good evening good night <laughs>